I was born in Orange, California, in 19, April 11th, 1927. Well, we went to Cypress Street School in Orange, which, as the name indicates, it was on Cypress Street, uh, between Cypress and uh, railroad tracks. Well, it was a segregated school, uh, even though the so-called American school was only two blocks. I don't know if uh, he ever got a permanent job before he was drafted. I just don't remember. My, uh, I was in Mexico uh, meeting my grandmothers. Uh, after 20 some years, my mother finally uh, managed to get enough money to take me and a couple of sisters to, uh, to meet our grandmothers. My, both my grandfathers had passed by the time we, we went. And while we were in Mexico, we got news that my brother had been drafted. Uh, and uh, well, he did his basic, and it's now Fort Hood and Fort Boy, but it was Camp Hood and Camp Boy at the time. And I guess his uh, most, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, the training that uh, I remember him talking about more was in Louisiana. Uh, I, I don't know what kind of maneuvers, they, but he said that was uh, one of the tougher training. And uh, I don't know when he wound up in, in Europe. Uh, except that he picked up smoking in, uh, in England. And uh, then when the uh, invasion started, uh, they had been sitting like many GIs in boats waiting to cross. And being a heavy equipment tank destroyer, uh, he was not in the first wave. And in fact, they said uh, they were half lost and hung up on a sandbar, uh, sitting ducks for a while. Uh, and uh, when uh, he finally got, got on land, uh, he was uh, baptized with a American getting lost and coming back towards the American lines firing at them. Uh, uh, I don't know just how they stopped them, but that was actually one of his uh, close calls. It's been fired on by American tankers that got turned around uh, and, uh, on the first days of the invasion. Uh, I believe this is a um, commendation from the Belgian government. Uh, surprisingly, I have another relative, or had a relative up north, who was more interested in my brother's medals than my brother himself. But this is a brown star that he got uh, soon after landing in Normandy by uh, leaving his foxhole and bringing out a wounded GI back to the safety of his own foxhole while under fire. Uh, this was early in the invasion. And this little star, well, the, this little star here indicates five major battles. And the different ribbons I'm not familiar with anymore. I, I know this is a European uh, theater. Uh, the others I, I am not familiar with. And this was a shoulder patch. This is my brother's cap. Yes, this is uh, when he. F this is when he first went in. Uh, as you can see, he has this other type of cap uh, uh, when he came home. But this is the one that uh, he had when he first. Uh, when he uh, first went into the service. Uh, like I say, they didn't speak about it uh, except when they were kidding around. Hey, remember when you had to jump into a, a shell hole to, because uh, his, uh, his driver got wounded, minor wounds, 
but he had at least three wounds. Uh, and uh, uh, my brother was fortunate that uh, I, he never, uh, he never took, oh, what problem that he had was frostbite when uh, Bastogne was surrounded by the Germans, uh, I guess it's in Belgium. Uh, he was not there, but his unit was sent to relief, uh, break the siege. And uh, for over a week, he didn't have a chance to change socks or shoes. And uh, when he got home at, at, uh, in the wintertime, his toes would kind of turn a little bit blue from walking in the snow so much, you know, not having the, the right uh, uh, foot, uh, or a chance to even change. This was the biggest problem. Uh, and uh, after that, like you say, he, uh, uh, he, he was in a, uh, I guess the last big battle was uh, Aachen on the Belgian-German border. Uh, I, I got drafted in June 16 of uh, 45, and uh, I just finished my basic when the atom bomb went off. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just glad that I've gone this far, because uh, I'm not in the best of health. But uh, I don't have to look too far to see how well off I am.